Hey what's up guys and welcome to episode number 23 of Treasures of Iron. So we're going to kick this video off by getting a task from Kuradol, if that's how you say it. Uh, because I'm 110 combat now or more than that and I have 75 slay which I just got off the last task. And uh, we did get aberrant specters and I can already say this now because this is actually uh, recorded afterwards. I did get a hard clue from the aberrant specters but I didn't actually record when I got the drop of it. So the next clip will be me completing that clue. And we're back here again, let's search the boxes and get the clue reward, and we get... What kind of reward is this? Oh, this is a Guthix body, I didn't even notice that, that is actually a unique, let's uh, put that on and see what the difference is. I cannot see any difference except this mark right here, it seems to be the only thing, alrighty then. That is what we were looking for, elite clue scroll of a reaper task. Damn, I'm gonna have to pick that up, and I pull aggro on this one, so I'm gonna have to go reset. Alright, I've currently completed 14 elites, so this is elite number 15, so let's see what we get. We have Bandos Chaps call and have an armor play, not play body, armor body call. So let's unlock this and see if we get something decent. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Bronze Dragon Mask on clue number 15. I can't reroll this. That's 640k, almost 641k. That is actually a really good drop. I think that's quite rare, but not too rare. So it's like, I don't feel disappointed that I got something rare, but not, you know, I could have got something really awesome like a die. So I'm actually really happy with that. I'm going to equip it and see how it looks. Uh, wardrobe and then remove helmet and put that badass on. That actually looks, you know, quite ridiculous, but at the same time, awesome. Alright, let's get another task, let's see what we get, I just finished the Aberrant Spectre task, and we get Greater Demons. We could actually do this on Sammy, that doesn't sound like a bad idea, so let's get into some Samurai God Wars. First drop I get is a hard clue scroll, so I'll complete that after this trip. Oh yes, the first item, Gloves of Subjugation, that took me a lot of kills, let us me see how many, oh and I leveled 89 magic as well, let's see how many kills that was, that was actually the last kill of the trip as well, and it took me 140 kills on point to get the first item, which is not too bad, but I still have 106 greater demons to kill, so let's continue the grind. So I wanted to take a break from Zamorak and I did complete the hard clue but I accidentally uh, got the reward instantly from the box. But anyways, this is the reward, nothing special at all, but the next one we can reroll. Alright, on kill number 153 we get a Boots of Subjugation, replacing the War Priest Zamorak Boots. Let's equip those, also pick up the book because I want to read that sometime, Kappa. Alright, this is the clue that we got from Samurak, and uh, I do have the Samurak book here, the Raziel, whatever's tail, I think that's going to give me luck, we can reroll this one, and let's see how many hard clues we've done overall, 79, so this is actually a milestone clue, clue number 80, let's, uh, whatever, it's rainy in Varrock, I do believe you, Yuri, see you in the next life, and let's open the caskets, and let's see what we get. And we get a lot of plate legs. H3. I don't care about H item that much anymore. I don't feel like it's something I want to keep because they look very ugly overall. So what I'm going to do is make use of this reroll. Reroll this and confirm. And we get... What? I said I didn't want any H items. And I get H1. Stop it, mate. We do have casket number 81 here. I did get this from Hellhound. So anyways, let's see what this one holds for us. And it is absolutely what I expected, actually, you know. Phoenix Light Teleports, I don't have too many of those left, but two more and we can reroll, so I'm just gonna close this one down for now. Done with the Greater Demon task, let's get a new task, let's see what this one is, and we get Black Dragons. Um, I cannot do 67 QBD ever, so I'm probably going to try skip that, let's see how many points I have. I have 114, I can skip that, I'm going to do that, even though it's quite expensive. But let's get a new task. Please something good. Fire Giants, I can do that, that's not too hard. Basically, I got nothing from that Fire Giant task. I did get some Slayer experience, however, which is not too bad. And I have 29k to 77, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, I bought this guy, by the way, right here. It has nothing to do with him, actually, but... Oh, he has fire cap as well. But um, he has a Slayer Helmet, right? And I've been thinking maybe I should start going for that as well. Maybe in this video. Uh, we will have to see, but maybe not. We will have to see overall. But uh, I think a Slayer Helmet is something I already should have. Uh, because next level I actually get access to uh, lo uh, Desert Strike Worms, which can drop some things for that, I think. I think the Focus Sight or something. But anyways, 
Until then, I'm going to get a new task now, so let's see what we can get. And we get... Oh, Gorgos! That's awesome! I didn't have that actually, um, ever, because I just got the level for it. So that is awesome, so let's do that task and see how much cash we can get from it. I'm actually gonna bank all the cash, and let's do this. Just to pass in the middle of the task, I did get a hard clue right here, which we're going to complete straight after this task, but just some progress overall. Look at all these gems I'm getting. I'm actually going to eat this one and pick this one up. Look at all these gems I'm getting. It's absolutely amazing, and I have been uh, alking quite a lot of stuff, and I have 500k right now. I got one granite mob, but it only alks for like 30k, and there's no use for it. But the annoying part is that I have to do smash on them, which is... Eh, you know, it gets a bit tiring after a while, but it's fine, I guess. So, I'm going to just finish up this task, and I'll show you guys the loot, or well, the actual, uh, like, alk value of all the stuff. Uh, also, I'm just about to hit um, 77 slayers, so I'm going to do that in the end of this task. But anyways, see you in the next clip. For some reason, like, straight after I stopped recording, I got two ferocious rings, I actually got them almost back to back, I think it was like three kills in between. But as you can see, I have 77 Slayer right here, and that's not what I wanted to do, let's see what I did unlock. And yeah, as I said earlier in the clip, um, I, that did unlock Desert Strike one, which I think dropped Focus Sight, which is quite nice. But let's get a new task and then do the Clue Scrolls, so for this one we get Grot Worms. That is not too bad, that is good for Saradome Bruce and stuff like that for an Iron Man, so I'm going to complete that, also quite good for clues, honestly. But look at all these uncuts, that's what I said earlier, but look at these uncuts, man. Look at them! So shiny. And also we almost got 800k, so that is awesome. Hopefully I don't get PK'd when I open this casket from Gargoyles, but let's open it and uh, get that Shadow Die. Thanks a lot for that. What kind- See you in the next clip, mates. Let's see if we can get a Reaper task that I would like to do. Three Chaos Elements, I'll s Nah, I'll skip that. I think I'll skip the first one, but I want a different assignment. Yes, I do. And we get... Alright, 13 Dagonoth Kings, let's just do that. You might not see it right now, but um, I have a Rune Hatchet here. And you know what's on the ground? Yep, a Dragon Hatchet. I actually got them back to back. And that is the first Dragon Hatchet of the account, so I'm going to add that to the tool bed, let's do that. And that is going to be so awesome to have for uh, when I reach 61 woodcutting, I do believe. So, awesome to have that off the way, uh, off the list or whatever you say. And I still have 5 more to kill, so let's do that. Alright, nothing more on the last 5 kills. We did get 10 Reaver points and 5000 Slayer experience. I'm actually going to see how many Reaver points we do have right now. And we have 109, so I need like... How many more? 180, no, 191 it is, for uh, being able to buy Hydrix, which is quite decent, I'm almost halfway, so that's really cool, but what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to finish the Grot Worm task, and if I do get a clue or anything specific, I'm going to show you guys that. So I just got 90 magic, and uh, I can now use the Noxious Staff, which I obviously do not have, and the Seismic Wand and Singularity. So that is quite awesome. Wow, there's a lot of stuff I can use now. Ascendry Bolts, which is even more worthless. But yeah, I also got 414 combat, and look at all these Alka Balls, but I'm just gonna finish up this task and get back to you guys. Unfortunately, I didn't get a clip of me getting this hard clue from Grot Worms, but I did and I do have the casket now and I can actually reroll this, so that is really awesome. I'm going to remove this thing here. I'm actually, I don't know if there's any safe spots I can stand on so these uh, wolves actually don't attack me. I, I think this should be fine. I don't, need, I don't even know if they're aggressive, but it would be kind of sad if they attacked me exactly when I open the clue and I can reroll it. But let's open this clue and see what it gives us. And it gives us a Armadillo page 4. I actually think I already have that one. Or it might be the Saradomin page I already have, but... I don't know, I don't really feel like the books are very useful in this game. I think there's come going to be an update on them in the near future. But I don't feel like that's something I really care about. So I'm going to use the reroll, let's confirm. And we get... Really? This is like the weirdest reward ever, look at this. Two Mystic Staffs, the air and the water one. Then the Black DI chaps and the body, so the four set there. And then we get Rune Kai Shield randomly. And then we get Armadillo page 3 instead of 4. <laughs> Alright, well, that is going to be it for this video with this weird-ass clue. And I hope you guys did enjoy it, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.